We all know that we don't have enough women at the senior level, either sitting on boards, certainly in CEO positions, and also in the pipeline to move up to those senior roles. I think that one of the biggest problems with that is actually that at the very top levels, the intensity of the work is such that it's just not possible for women to get the kind of work-life, family-life balance um, that they want. And that means that for some women, those kind of roles actually are unattractive, particularly, I think, where they have partners who have similarly demanding roles. And the fact is that all the flexible working policies in the world just aren't going to remedy it. Agile working and flexible working, I think, have been seen as a, a kind of magic bullet to keeping women in the workplace, or rather in work, rather than the workplace. Um, and it's certainly the case that for men and women, it does mean that they can leave work, they can go and pick up children, they can do bath time and bedtime. But what agile and flexible working don't do is reduce the volume of work that needs to be done. And that means that then they're doing it in the evenings after the kids have gone to bed, they're doing it on non-working days, at weekends and holidays. And for some women, that's fine. That's something that they'll accept to take those kind of roles on. But for other women, that's just too much of a sacrifice. I think we are seeing a change um, in terms of new generations that are coming into the workforce that uh, employees, whether or not they have caring responsibilities, don't necessarily want to be doing the sort of long working hours. And certainly for all of us, I think more work-life balance is of benefit for our mental health. If there is going to be change in this area, it's definitely leaders of organisations that need to make that change, they need to set the tone. But I do wonder whether, as we've only had this ability to work whenever or wherever we want to or are required to in the last sort of five or ten years, whether leaders or the general working population are really ready to make the changes required.